What's up, everybody? It's your favorite monkey man's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Generation Toy Gorilla White version. This is all known to me from Robert D. We've looked at the other version. On that video, we went from bot to gorilla. So on this video, we'll go from gorilla to bot. So both ways are covered on the channel. Kind of a slow December, folks. So luckily, Robert D. bought some stuff for us to take a look at. Otherwise, we would have been out of luck. That being said, I am anxious to take a look at them. But let's get started with accessories. So he comes with two swords. It has a white paint and a turquoise translucent there. And then it has like a chrome finish on the blade itself, which looks quite nice. And you get two of them. And the blades can be removed, but we'll show that here in a bit. Using this tab system here, they can be stowed on the back on both sides. He can hold them by pegging them in to the palm just fine. And like I said, the blades are removable and then you can, ooh, that girl doesn't want to come out, <laughs> but I was able to manage. Now these could be guns. You could have them still pegged into the back and they could act as sort of back cannons. And then you could also take this separate piece, which is deco the same way with that pearlescent paint um, of the white and the turquoise kind of translucent. And then you can plug your swords into this and now he's got like a double double bladed sword so pretty cool he'll hold that the same way and it too can be stowed on his back uh down at this peg or this peg you also get an alternate face covering if you so desire that'll just swap out with his regular face and then he has kind of the face shield as opposed to the more uh, uh the, the more human-esque face i suppose and gimmick wise there's a light up feature in the head it's a little button there on the back uh but the batteries are not included and i don't have them so just take my word for it that it's a thing all right so let's look at eight mode and look there's a number of different configurations for this right like you're supposed to i think this is the official way but if you want you can have the shoulders out like that which i think look kind of cool too um this piece is tabbed in here but i'm gonna leave it untabbed and i'll show you why uh, the head, you got a huge tilt, chrome face, you got the jaw that articulates, all the teeth are chromed, really uh, a striking deco overall. You have silver paint on the top there, gold accents, and we'll talk more a lot, um, or a lot more about the paint when we get to robot mode. Ratcheted shoulders that are on a universal, you get a bicep swivel. A proper one you also get a forearm swivel and you get a monkey elbow so he can beat his chest so to speak you got a waist swivel and an ab crunch if you don't plug this piece in the feet you get an ankle tilt down and up um this piece i think is supposed to be in robot mode but i mean like tucked in during eight mode but whatever and then we have uh the, this toe swivels out this toe hinges and these toe are on one hinge We'll talk about the hands for a minute. Wrist swivel, thumb. We have the index finger on a base pin knuckle plus a secondary and tertiary articulation. Same for the middle finger. And then the ring finger and pinky finger are just on a base pin knuckle, which is pretty effective because you can point, he can get some real character out of the fingers, but you don't need to articulate the bottom two. You save a little bit of money, but it still works. So I dig that. Nice chrome accents on the chest and the turquoise accent there. Um, you get a little swivel. I think that these guns can actually store inside on 8 mode, but it just seems like a waste, right? You would probably want them out. All oh, the backpack is decoed. Like, it, I mean, I like this. I, you know, I know it's based off the, the kind of art design, and I think there's some kind of drama as to whether or not that dude has seen any compensation for any of his work, and I get all that. But as a credit to his work, it's a cool design, and it's a cool figure as a result. So, yeah, I can't be mad at it. We'll talk about a lot more of the articulation in detail because it shares most of it when we get to robot mode. And there it is next to Tiger Tracks. All right, let's get him transformed. So, theoretically, you're supposed to have these feet... Feet here tucked in already I, I like to keep them out it just adds to the stability of it and it doesn't really take away from it at all but if you if you haven't flip it out if you have keep it regular and then flip the toes in the monkey toes and then flip the big uh thumb toe around to the opposite side as well so that it's facing 
that. The other thing that you can do is untab this. Once again, it's one of those things that's like part of the instructions, but I keep it untabbed. That way you can get the waist swivel from the Gorilla and the ab crunch from the Gorilla. Otherwise, you can't. Next thing you want to do is on the back of the knees, pretty much, you want to open up these two pads there, extend down your calf, and then line it up so that this peg and this peg will go into that slot and that slot on both sides. You collapse it for eight mode just to get the full kind of collapse of the leg. So we're going to go ahead and do that to both sides. Oh, and I missed the port. Let's see. There. All right. Then take this piece, flip it out, straighten that, and sit it down against the thigh. And you're going to want to do that on both sides. And then you can spin the waist 180. Untab his backpack, which is really on his flank, here and here. There's another butt piece here. And there's two side pieces that peg in. And that will allow you to kind of move his backpack up and out of the way. Pull the chest out. One side of it flips towards the inside, one side swivels towards the inside, and then you have to get this to clear this neck flap, which is not great, I will tell you, but it's how you do it. Then you wanna split the monkey head, bring that down and sit that in his chest. Take the monkey face, spin it, tuck it back in, and now these two tabs go into those two slots. And now we'll fix the backpack. So the two wings here, you want to double hinge towards the center on the inside. And your butt flap, you want to rock up and tab as far up as you can. And then tuck all of this back in. Might need to bring it up. Inside and tab together there. Slide up your guns and fold them towards the top and then take the plate on the back of his head and rock it down and it'll actually tab in to there. And you're good. Then your final step is the arms and just bring them down. Open this up here and accordion it up and then plug it in. And we're going to do the same on the other side. I'll clean them up. We'll take a look at them. So the head, we had the white. So first of all, the whole thing has the white pearlescent finish on it right so just imagine that it has the finish on it so I don't have to say it every time we have turquoise paint and we have the chrome paint on the head the head is on a hinged swivel it looks like that gets you up to there which is great down to there swivel on both sides no issues no complaints your guns obviously move and they slide uh, your shoulders are ratcheted you got 360 around you have a butterfly joint you have 90 degrees up at the base here. If, it almost feels like you can get a little bit more too, but I guess you can't. And then you have a bicep swivel, silver paint here. Single hinged elbow, a little limited there, but what are you going to do? Wrist swivel, fingers we've already gone through. Thumb is on a ball peg. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. All right. For the chest, once again, we have the chrome, silver, and turquoise uh, accents. You have a waist swivel, ab crunch, and then for the hips, you have full Van Dam on ratcheted universals and full Monty. So no issues there. A little bit of a thigh swivel, double jointed knee, get you the full run. We have die cast pieces in the feet. We have silver, turquoise paint, turquoise paint, I mean silver paint, uh, obviously nothing here, but should be chrome accents unfinished die cast but it looks cool 
Toes are chromed out, no issues, and you can even bring the monkey toes out if you want for extra support. The pistons are going to move with your ankle tilt up and down. You're going to get a little bit of a rocker. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty solid little unit. Uh, I like the first mold too. And there it is from the back. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives and they are as follows. Limited ankle rockers for one do cause an issue when getting him in dynamic poses such as what you see before you. And he does lend himself to dynamic poses so those ankles do stick out like a sore thumb. There's some clearance issues in the transformation. There were some clearance issues with the original mold so I guess we should expect them here. It would probably be too much to ask that they would be fixed. But namely in getting this chest plate of the ape inside of the chest of the chest of the robot, it's problematic here. It was problematic the first go round. There's also some joint inconsistencies with some of the ratchets. The ratchets in the shoulders, for instance, feel great. The ratchets in the hips, not so much. Just those inconsistent ratchets where you hear it clicking, you don't feel it clicking. And that's it. And I guess if I were to really nitpick, I would say that some of the transformation elements don't feel 100% complete. Like sometimes the transformation step doesn't necessarily plug in or clip in. It just sort of rests in this area or that area. I, I don't particularly like that kind of stuff. Not a huge deal, but something worth noting. Positives wise, a ton to mention. Figures a lot of fun to pose, a lot of fun to manipulate, a lot of fun to mess with. Deco is absolutely stunning with the pearlescent paints, the chrome accents, the turquoise paints, the silver paints, gold accents. Lots of cool gimmicks like light up eyes, pistons moving in the calves or shins rather. A transformation that's pretty fun and intuitive with a couple little steps that are a tad obnoxious, but for the most part, pretty straightforward. And the appropriate amount of accessories that are all integrated into the piece throughout all the modes. So yeah, solid unit. The other one was a solid unit this one is a solid unit as well and might even look better if you're into this character and this representation which you know i am not and what i mean by that is primal himself i know this is based on that art from that but i get it i understand but if you're into it and you like the deco i can recommend it thanks again to robert and thank you for listening thanks for watching until next time take care